importing your data from Troopmaster 2016. Uh, so imp to import your data, we need to go to the file menu and then down to import from Troopmaster. Now as we get more imports into the system, this is likely to get moved into a submenu. So you go to import and then move over to from Troopmaster. Um, so let's get started. First we need to create an import file from Troopmaster 2016. Let's open up our desktop version of Troopmaster 2016. Let's go to File, Export, Troopmaster 2016. Now it's going to prompt you to check your database to see if there's any damage in the database um, before exporting it to the web. Uh, we want to make sure that your desktop database is in good shape before we do any exports. So we'll go ahead and click yes. Click proceed. and it comes back with no damage was detected. Okay, this our demo database is also detecting that one or more of our adults is also uh, NBC or POC or parent and they're not linked correctly within the database. If we continue and export the data like this those members will be duplicated out there on the website. We don't want that. We only want each person out there one time. We don't want, you know, them in the system as an adult and a parent and an NBC, all as three separate people in the database. So go ahead and click yes, and it'll give us a list of the people that we need to fix the, the links on in the desktop software before we export. Okay, so we have a little notepad that comes up here, and it gives us the list of people that are in the in the system and not linked so the first person here we have Samuel Edwards and we can see that he's both an adult and a parent and he's also a merit badge counselor and a parent so just to fix the links it's real simple we go to adults we click on the, the person in question go to their personal data and we're going to check that he's a parent pick him from the list of parents hit OK OK again OK let's go to the next person and we see this person here is both a POC and a parent so we need to go to point of contacts find her in the list check the parent box pick her from the list of parents Hit select and OK and we have Fred Osborne and Margie Osborne are both parents and adults So we just check the parent box there. Next person on the list is Walter Savage. Let's see, and he was also a parent. So we checked the parent box for him. Select his name from the list of parents. And Virginia Tucker is a 
point of contact in the pairing. So let's go back to point of contacts. Now, if your members are already linked within the system, you're not going to have to do this. Um, this is just showing for the users that don't have them correctly linked within the desktop system how to go through and link them correctly so that when they're imported into the website, there will only be one record for that person will be properly linked out there. Okay, so let's close this and run the export again. So go to File. Export Troopmaster 2016. We've already scanned it once and there was no damage, so we can skip it this time. And it doesn't detect any issues with the link, so then we can go ahead and save our file. And I'm going to put it in this folder here on the desktop and click OK. And if we also want to import our archive data, we can do that as well. First, we need to open the archive. Select the archive that we want to import. You can have multiple archives listed here, and you would have to do this for, for each archive one at a time. Um, but since I only have one, let's pick archive one. and then do the same thing. Go to File, Export, Troopmaster 2016, pick your location, and you'll notice the archive file has an A on the end of it. So if you have more than one archive, you'll have to do this for each archive. You'll have to create a file, go to the website, import that archive, come back to Troopmaster, open up the next archive, Create the same file again and then import that one over and over until you get all of your archives imported. Okay, so we've created our files. Let's go back to our website. Go to File, Import, and from Troopmaster. And on this screen, we go over the instructions here. Um, so first we need to import our active data. You, you have to do that one first. active data file name is tm2016.mdb Okay, it gives you a warning, let you know it's going to remove all the data in your system. Are you sure you want to continue? Okay, at this point our active data is imported. 
and now let's um, let's go ahead and import our um, archive file. Okay, we got a similar warning, um, except this time it's, it's not going to erase all of our data. It's just going to add to our existing database and put these members into the archive. Okay. So that's it. If we go to our scouts, you see this is our active data. Let's import it. We've got all of our scouts, our adults, our advancement, everything's been imported from Troopmaster. We can open our archive. And these are our archive scouts. 